So, so mate, I've gone ahead to cut the facing for both the front and the back. So, I'm going to pipe this one. So, I'm going to sew it like this with half of an inch. I'll sew this one with half of an inch. And for the back, I will sew here with half of an inch. We notch, turn it over and iron. Okay, so let's go over to the sewing machine. Two minutes. I'm gonna head to sew. Can you see this part? So I've gone ahead to sew here, right side facing right side for the front, for the back, I've sewn the facing, can you see? So I'm going to cut the excess thread, notch, after notching, I'll take it to the ironing table. I'm done. I'm done notching. Okay, so I'm going to take it to the ironing table. Iron it out. Okay. Then I will... I will pipe here. Look at what I'm going to do. I'll bring it out like this. I'll fold it one and two. So it's a piping process I'm going to do for the front. Then I'll sew on top like this. Then I'll sew on top. I'll do that for the two fronts. For the back, I'm just going to turn the facing like this to the back. And give it a very good press. Then I'll return to show you what we are having. And we'll proceed. So, so mate, I've gone ahead to iron it see the back the back neckline like i told us for the front i've done the piping can you see that this is the second side properly piped okay so what i did further was to join the shoulder So join the front to the back at the shoulder. That was the next thing I did. Okay. So you remember when we are drafting, instead of leaving half inch at, as the shoulder allowance, I left one inch. So this is one inch and I joined it here. I equally joined this one. Here, using one inch okay and I told you why I'm, I want to use one inch is because um we are going to be wrenching here a rope will pass here to wrench this shoulder and bring it together like this okay so I went ahead to prepare this it's very long I'm going to at the end of the day divide it into four two for here two for here do we understand so see the next thing we are going to do we are going to open it up like this the shoulder area okay we are going to open it up like this and i will bring this one part of it one end like this place it here and top stitch 
see close to this line the joining uh, the joining i have here at the shoulder i'll place this strap here and i'll top stitch top stitch properly close it up properly because this is the rope that will come out here that will be used to pull out and wrench this shoulder part i believe we understand so mates okay so i'll put one here I will equally turn this side, put one here in top stitch. Okay, I believe we understand. When I top stitch, I'm going to place it here, like so. That is the essence of this one inch I added here. So I'm going to open this up like this. Can you see? It will now cover this strap, it will cover this rope I'm having here. Then I will fold it like so. I will fold like this. And so this. All the way down to this sleeve opening. I believe we understand what I'm saying. I will come again. I am going to turn it in like this. And I will sew on it. When I'm done with this one, I'll put the second rope here. Remember it has been top stitched here. And I will sew. I'll turn it in also. And sew on it. So I'm going to do that for this side of the shoulder and this side of the shoulder. So sew it. Take note of the processes. These are the steps. You cannot do one before the other. You have to do it the way I'm doing. See what I did at this leaf. I folded it in already. And I folded it in one one before joining it. This is the shoulder. Before joining it. Okay. So I'm going to do what I just told us now. And bring it back to show us what we are having. So on the wrong side, see what it is looking like. I've gone ahead to stitch the both of them. This is the wrong side. The right side, see how it is looking. So you pull it like this. Depending on how you want. Can you see it? So you can pull and decide to tie as desired. Is that okay? I intentionally did not start it from here. You can start from the neck with from here as we can attach this strip from here in that way the whole gather will get to here but i want it to have this style here will just be flat and this side will be ruffled the same thing was done here the next thing i'm going to be doing is this Are you seeing what I'm arranging? I will arrange it out like this. And just for the front, I'm going to top stitch here. Okay? To hold this the two fronts together this overlay here you know is open this way so i want to place them together like this take it to the sewing machine 
and sew on it like so okay just for the front like this i'll sew on it using half of an inch okay then when i'm done i'm going to attach these parts of the flay for the front and i will attach the second one Then I will attach the second one like so, okay? After which, I will return to show us what next we are doing. So, so mate, I've gone ahead to join the um, down part to the upper part of the outfit. This is the back. I joined this the way I told us. This is the flay part. Good side facing good side. I sewed here with half of an inch. That's for the back. This is the front. Are we seeing that? So, I equally did the joining with half of an inch here. Okay. So, this is what we are having now. So, the next thing we are going to do is the fitting. We are going to do the fitting process now. Don't forget, we still have another part we are supposed to attach at this part on top. Remember, we left a um, half inch here for attaching it, and we left one inch on that fabric. So, what I mean is on this part, we have the strap we cut out, it's very long. This is like 85 into 2. Okay, so I'm going to run a gather stitch on it. It will be placed on top. When I run a gather stitch at half inch, I'm going to place it this way and sew on top of it. When I sew on top, I'll be left with like one inch. That's why I left one inch at this upper part. Okay, but before we do that, okay, we can actually, as this is into two, we'll do that for this one. I'm going to, I already joined it, but I'm going to loosen it up. We'll gather one on top of front, gather one. On top of here on top of this place don't know if we understand when we are done we will do the fitting by closing it up like this we'll match it good side facing good side like so Okay, so in this outfit, the only part that is meant to be a bit fitted is the waist area. Those boards region is going to be free. This flay part, including this one we are attaching here, is going to be free. So what you're going to consider when fitting is here. Okay, and to consider it. We are working with waist 43, so let's just do 44, which is 22. 44 divided by 2 is 22, so I'll measure everything I have here. I'm having 25 in all, meaning I have 3 inches left, right? Sorry, okay. 26 in all meaning i have four inches left i'll divide that four inches into two and that is two inches each i'll place two inches here and place two inches here which means during the fitting from the measurements i have here i actually made a mistake 
I would have made it bigger. So the only thing I can take here is half an inch. So I'm going to sew with half an inch like this. I increase my hand to one inch to 1.5 so that I can meet up with these two inches here. Then I'll take it down with two inches. I'll be decreasing 1.5 down. Did we get that? The only part to be fitted is here. And the allowance I have is two inches, two inches. I made a mistake here. The allowance is not much. The only thing I can take out here is half inch. So I'm going to sew with half inch. As I increase, as I go by, I will increase my hand to one inch. Still on this box area, 1.5. Getting to 1.5, I will now increase it to two. Here on the west region. Coming down, I'll start reducing my hand from two, 1.5. And I will finish it up with one inch for this side, this side, and after this fitting, we are done hundred percent with this outfit. It's remaining for us to set it. Then I will show us the final look. Thank you guys for staying with me. Is your favorite girl Liv Miller, the creative director of this brand? Okay. So please do well to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell, give the video a thumbs up, comment. Thank you for watching. I love you all. Have a nice day. Bye. While I show you the ending results.